hey <laughs> welcome 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 to the growth family network today we're doing another update video of oh i can't believe i forget lollybugs lollybugs garden um this garden believe it or not is finally starting to to grow a little bit um i've been a little uh hesitant on on the fertilizing uh but but things are kicking in so i'm, I'm thinking that manure or those roots are finally finding that manure that's about uh say about six inches down uh they're really starting to put on um right now the cilantro and the rat's tail radish are just doing amazing so let me just stop talking i'm gonna get in here a little closer and let you take a look at your garden one second okay so today is january 17th and i'm gonna get down to size and this is what the cilantro is doing right now we had some uh i think these are like bunching onions and we had some walking onions uh but it's not really doing much i don't know why maybe it's because it's on this corner right here maybe it's because it's going to wait until the spring uh, but these onions i'm not going to take out of this bed at all even when i switch over to to my spring uh summer garden i'm not going to take those onions out i'm going to leave those in hopefully some more onions start coming up um they're going to grow what i'm thinking with this is when the spring comes and and i get ready to transition this bed that i'm actually going to pluck out these instead of just getting rid of them i'm going to pluck them out and, and separate them and, and put them maybe a few in some pots uh here and there and maybe i can sell these um these cilantros i'm not going to just let them go to waste or i'm going to put them in a high tunnel um they do good for me for scent masking uh put these in around some of my other plants and use them as a good scent mask but this this is like uh these are some kale these are actually supposed to be tree kale uh, so i might leave those in right here i don't want to move those i might leave those in as well going to the next uh garden because i really want to see whether or not uh they're gonna start growing tall for me now all of this came uh from miss lolly bugs so i want to thank her for that and and i'm gonna leave those in and give those a chance to go through the spring and summer now this this is what's actually amazed me about the seeds that she sent of course i got online and i start looking at them and I'm like, rat's tail radish, what is that? And as you can see, it's a beautiful, I mean, it makes a beautiful radish, but it's not really grown for its roots. And that was something that, that was amazing to me, was that it's actually grown for this stuff that's up top. Now, I haven't been getting any uh bees to come in here because i haven't really been seeing the bees coming through it's fall winter of course so they're kind of the activity is already low uh but by having this netting they don't really come through this netting either so uh i'm thinking if if i didn't have this netting up then i probably would already have uh seed pods all the way down here so this this is some, supposed to make like uh it's like a winter green bean i've seen people on channels uh, cooking this stuff up and that's what they really grow the rat's tail radish for uh hopefully if i can't get anything hopefully i can get one of these to give me one of those beans so i can show you all um but but this is how it's looking they're really 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 beautiful as you know the camera doesn't really show the beauty of yeah there we go look at that so beautiful 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 so thank you for that um here our bok choy 
we're still the temperatures are okay it hasn't been uh as cool as we would like it uh, as our greens would like it uh, Bev's has been coming out as you can see certain places you'll see one picked off we don't really harvest the whole like crop the whole head off she usually just comes out and grabs off a few leaves off of each one and that's basically how we've been surviving uh, so these were supposed to be some arugula that's just really starting to take off uh, some lettuce yeah, it's okay. I didn't even know I had a cauliflower in here. Uh, but the best thing it's been doing was the first thing that I've actually planted back here. And that was uh, the peas. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, I can get these things to grow and keep growing uh, well into the spring. I don't know how long peas go for before they die out. Uh, but... But they're putting on and they're getting me some seeds uh the only thing about this i had to put this netting on because i knew i was going i was facing the rabbits and the, and the pressure from them uh so i just left it on i was like okay they'll trellis up that but i really wanted them trellising up the back uh white fencing uh which they're not gonna do I had a few of them come out and grab hold here this is what I really wanted. As you can see, let me get on the side. This is what I really wanted. I wanted them to grab hold to this and work their way up. But that's still good. Uh, still fruiting, getting fruit. Time to start picking them. Time to start munching on them. Uh, so I'm excited about my pea haul because the last two years last year i had okay but the years before that it was dismal like i couldn't really even get peas to germinate uh so learning what time to germinate them here at this yard has been challenging because like i say my house my yard is like five degrees colder than my neighbors across the street because of how the sun comes uh but i think we figured it out i've kept a good log this year tried to keep a good log this year on when I'm planting this stuff so that way I can at least be closer next year and I've been using these videos as a little point of reference on some stuff but I did keep a good log of planting these beds uh, so I want to say to you here's your garden update <laughs> and as always Look at my clothes on the line. That's actually not even good clothes on the line. That's clothes that my kids were, were too big for. So I wanted to use those as rags. That's why I got them on the line so I can put them up. And I'll be cutting them whenever I need to do like dirty type of work. Instead of going to the store buying new rags. I'm just cutting up old shirts and stuff. You know do that dirty oily greasy work. And then I throw them away like that. Once I've really use them i don't just throw them in the trash so reuse some of those old shirts for rags and then get rid of them uh thank y'all for watching lolly bugs i hope i didn't say lowly bugs the last time uh here's your garden update swing swing and grow 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 Peace.